Welcome back guys to my Stamina Saucer PvE build with two different setups for the low death DC. First of all, let's talk about a ton of changes for Sorks. Quest Weapon, the most powerful single target spam will go nerfed by around 40% and also changed. This morph now splits its damage into two separate hits. The first hit deals damage equal to a ranged spam so around still 40% less damage than before, while the second hit deals 45% less damage of the first hit. Big nerfy sadly, but probably necessary, but don't worry, it's still viable and good enough to use. Second change is bound armaments. They buffed the damage per hit by around 6%, but deleted the 10% passive light attack damage increase completely. Another nerf here. Both pets got changed too. They doubled the duration of the familiar pet, but decreased the damage by 23% and decreased the damage of the Twilight pet by around 33%. But buffed meanwhile Dedic Prey from 20 to 45% more pet damage bonus. Not really a big change here, the damage is similar than before. Next change is about our ultimate, the Atonag. The synergy gives now not only for ourselves plus one target Major Berserk, it gives up to 5 targets plus ourselves the major berserk bonus, a really decent buff, with two sorks you can feed the entire group with major berserk now. Last change is hurricane, it takes every 2 seconds but hits 100% harder, so it's more or less the same damage than before. I managed to get around 127k plus with the first setup. The biggest problem about sorks in general is and was never the single target, it's more the slack in AoE damage compared to necros for example. That's why I tried to build a setup with shorter daggers as spammable in combination with the Vitation daggers. Shorter daggers hits up to 3 targets in total and did around 26 plus on the dummy. But keep in mind, we need to be able to backstab the enemy to proc the Vitation dagger bonus. With this, we can come closer to the AoE Necro machines, which makes this class, even in this patch, viable again. On the back bar, I've been using Pillar of Nirn. Did around 7k plus single target and has on top a small AOE range of 2.5 meters. So you can hit multiple targets, pretty nice. As main set, Eliquin for pure single target fights. Did around 7k plus. For AOE fights, I recommend to use something else like Kidneras, Zogwin, or Azublite. As Mythic, still upon a Sweden killed, offer some situations Sea Serpent's Coil. And as Monster said, one slime core for extra crit. A really powerful setup. Second setup is similar to the first one, with silver shards as spammable, made for bosses like Sunspire or Dreads the last boss, which you can simply not flank. Silver shards has no AoE cap, it can basically hit infinite targets, but the AoE effect hits 22% less than the single target one. Still really powerful, especially against multiple targets like for example in Dreadsay the second boss. Similar build with Reliquin on the front bar and Pill of Nirn back bar. A Smithic killed with Kiana as monster set, but keep in mind Kiana can be only used by one member in a group. Alternative go with Zahn, Stormfist or even the Mr. Dedoth, Morph Inferno. In total a big sword nerf, but with both setups we are still more than viable on this class. Closer look on both builds. First one with the Vitation Daggers, Nirm and Charged, Flame Poison Enchantment, Relic well on the body, one killed, one Slime Core in Light, full Divines, full Max Stamina Glyphs, full Bloodthirsty on the Jury with Rapid Damage Enchantments, and Back Bar, a Great Sword in Infused with the Berserker Glyph. Skills Bound Armaments, Dedic Prey, Shrouded Daggers are spammable, both pets, and the Great Storm Artonarch. You can also use the AoE Morph, Backbar Stampede, and Hurricane. Hurricane is slightly better than Calf. Barb Trap for Minor Force, both pets again. We need to slot them on both bars, and Overload on the back bar for more single target pressure at the start. Alternative, go with Artonak here 
and flawless stone break on the front bar for more weapon damage. Ray Stanmo, still best at start, followed by Khajiit. Mundus the Thief, Lama Futsu as buff food. In raids, you could probably go with max stamina and max HP food. 64 points in stamina and the potions, the normal weapon power potions. CPs, Daddy Aim, Master Dams, Waffle Strikes, and Exploiter. We have more than enough crit damage with EC on the dummy and minor brittle. If you are not at the 125% crit damage cap, put an exploiter for backstabber or fighting finesse or even the penetration blue CP called force of nature if you have penetration issues. Red ones, rejuvenation, bounce vitality, senility and fortified. Now the second setup with four body pieces reliquin, one dagger, then one pill of non dagger, Great sword still on the back bar, full jewelry, pill of gnome, Kiana's nice monster set with two light armor pieces for extra penetration and still killed as mythic. In terms of skills, exactly the same except of shorter daggers, I've been using silver shards, everything else, race, mundus, attribute points, food, CPs is exactly the same. Quick talk about the rotation, summon both pets, use shattered acceleration as pre-buff and swap back to barb trap, pre-buff bound armaments, activate overload, followed by both pets and hurricane, step close, use stampede, bar swap, deadic prey into shrouded daggers, activate bound armaments as soon as you have built up 4 stacks. Use the Atonark at around shortly before 170 ulti points. I dropped it at around 200 just to be safe. Keep up your dots and use short daggers as spam in between plus bound armaments with 4 stacks. Use this rotation until around 25%. Then drop Deadic Prey, the familiar pet, plus Hurricane. Keep using bound armaments though, but don't recast it when it expires. We want to spam as many shrouded daggers as possible in this phase. The rotation for the other setup is exactly the same, except of the execute. Just keep all of your dots up there, even in execute. If you have questions about it, type them down below. I will try to answer them as fast as possible. I will leave you now. Don't forget to sub my channel, leave a like and a comment below. I would really appreciate it guys. Thanks for watching and I wish you a fantastic day. Peace. Thank mm -hmm. you.